Hey there, I'm going to run through real quickly how to pull in the SVG files and the JPEG files out of MDS into Soloit uh, Designs uh, software. Now, first of all, let me just point out, I am using the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition of the soft Silhouette software, and what that means is, is that if you do not have this, you cannot pull in SVG files. You, it will not recognize them or find them. You need to have the designer edition. Now what you can do is do JPEGs. So I'll show you how to do both and just bear in mind that if you do not have this particular uh, upgraded designer edition, it costs extra from Silhouette. Um, if you don't have that then you won't be able to do the SVG. But let me just run through this real quickly. So we're going to go to File, Merge and I'm going to, let's see, go to my computer. I am on a PC. I'm going to go to my local uh, disk C. I'm going to select program files. Mine just happened to be under program files x86 because that's the type of computer that I have. But yours may be under program files. Then it should look the same from here. You're going to find your MDS, uh, My Digital Studio software, components, and here's where you have to kind of learn um, some things you can pull in, some things you can't. So, for example, um, let's go to stamps and we can pull in some stamps. Now, not everything lends itself to pulling it into MDS or uh, from MDS into the Silhouette software. So, let me find one that is an example. Okay, first of all, let me just point out. So I've clicked on this folder and there's nothing there. I need to go down here where it says types of file. I need it to say all, whoops, I'm sorry, I said all files. And let's see, let's click that hot air balloon and I'm just going to show you. This would be an example of one that I would not really probably uh, attempt to do anything with because you're not going to get very good results because it's just too, I don't know, it's just not a good solid clean image. So I'm going to delete that. Now let me go to one that I think maybe we would get better results with. And I'll see if I can find one that I have used before. Let's just go to Enjoy Every Moment. Select OK. Now you always have to do this annoying little thing where you change it to All Files. So we've changed it to All Files and I'm just going to select Circle Flower. Now I can enlarge this just so that we can work with it. So I have this enlarged. I'm going to go over here to the right, this blue window up here on the bar, and it says open the trace window. I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to come down here and select trace area. Now I'm just going to draw a box around it, and then you'll see everything show up. Now chances are um, you might get good results with this, and you may not. So let's just see what will happen either way. I'm just going to select trace and mm, see I don't like that because see these double lines right here that's really going to be an issue when you go to cut so we don't really want to do that so let me pull this back over here and let's do select trace area again I'm going to highlight the area and here's what I do um, I try different things but the goal is to make this entire thing yellow now sometimes I can do this by just taking off high pass filter and I'm good. Now other times I have to bump this all the way up and use the little arrow and go even higher, but this one worked out really well. So I have selected and then you can say, um, you can go up here to trace and you pull that off and now you see you have two good clean cut lines and this will be a really good easy file to cut um, on your machine without any problems. So um, now this is actually, you'll notice that the red lines are cut lines. This is not really a cut file where this is. So I'm going to pull this off to the side and let's just see if we can show you. Now that you should be able to do with any of the software or with either version of the software I should say, uh, of the Silhouette software that is. Now let's see, only if you have the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition will you be able to do this next thing, which is we're going to, um, let's see, go back up. 
I'm backing up. We're going to go into punches. I'm going to select OK. I'm just going to go into hearts just because I know what I'm looking for. And I am going to select the SVG files, which it doesn't really matter. I, I could do SVG or I can do all files. You notice nothing changed. Um, but I just happen to know that the punches are SVG files, which means, I think that means scalable vector graphic, which means they'll be really good and clean no matter what size they are. So I'm going to select the full heart punch um, and say OK. Now, if you have the regular version of this, you, this, you can't do this step. So just remember that you're not missing anything, you're not doing anything wrong. It's just you don't have the software that will allow you to do that. You have to upgrade and pay extra money from Silhouette Studio to get the Designer Edition in order to get the SVG files to pull in from MDS. So I'm going to select OK. And now I can select this and scale it any size I want. It's good and clean. And now I can go over here to select Trace Area, select it, and probably going to get a real good, well, Let's see, I've messed up there. Select all, and then I just need to tell it to trace. Now, if I say just trace, you'll notice that there's a double line. Um, don't necessarily want that, so I'm going to delete that. So let's try that again. So we're going to select trace area. And you notice, here okay, my little trick that I did just a minute ago by deselecting high pass filter didn't work. So what I need to do is I just need to pull the bar all the way over to the right and it's still not enough so I'm going to just um, use the arrow there on the high pass filter and just kind of keep going until it fills in and it might take a minute so I think that'll be good enough though um, without it pulling it, it's not yellow in the center and you'll see that here but if I just say trace outer edge right there I've got enough of it that yes, I see I've got a good clean trace around it. So that's not a problem. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but as you're playing with it and you're, um, I don't know exactly all the scientific or mathematical whatevers to exactly why that happens, but for whatever reason, I do get a cleaner image if as much yellow on that image as possible. So um, just think that is an important thing to remember. And I hope this helps. And um, let me know if you have any more questions. Thanks. Have a great day.